Joe Walensky, and in this video cast, I wanted to talk about working with Windows Phone 7 development. I've been working with mobile applications for almost two years now, starting with the iPhone and then working with Android and iPad apps. And I've been working with the Windows Phone 7 development kit for a couple of months uh, when it first came out through beta in Visual Studio. And now it's just around the corner when Windows Phone 7 is going to be officially announced and launched. I expect to be working with Windows Phone 7 development apps uh, in putting together user interface text and helping provide other user assistance. So in this video cast, I want to give you a quick tour of what's involved with working with the Windows Phone 7 development kit. The first thing you want to do is install the Windows Software Developers Kit and that's freely available from the Microsoft Windows Phone site. You can see the URL on this screenshot. The download is simple to install, although it is going to put a lot of files on there that you may not use, but you don't have any choice about what to install. For example, Game Studio is installed and I don't work with that and Expression Blend, the website editor, is installed and I don't work with that. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up a recent project, sample project, down in Recent Files, Recent Projects, and that project has an SLN extension, and here's the basic Windows Phone editing area with a visual WYSIWYG of the application on the left then the code associated with that page of the application and then all the way over on the right are the properties for various components over in the WYSIWYG area. So if I wanted to make an adjustment to that page name text tag, I type, I click on that and that's going to bring me to an object called page title. If I go down in the properties list, I find a section called text and I can make an adjustment to that. So I'll just change page name to first page. And as you see, it automatically changes over in the WYSIWYG area. And I can do the same thing for the other text there, the one that says My Application. I click on that in the WYSIWYG area and go to the Properties box, the Text Item, and I'll delete the text My Application. and I'll type in sample app. So just right there I've easily changed the text for two different uh, UI elements. And if you look through here you can see that this provides all the uh, various attributes for that text as well. So font size could be changed. So here I changed uh, first page to 24. I could also go and adjust the font family. So I'm going to change that to Tahoma. So all the controls for working with the text are very easily accessible from the properties box. And again, you get to the properties box first by clicking on an object in the WYSIWYG area. Now you can change the size of the WYSIWYG area. There's a scalar bar on the left hand side of that part of the window. And you can make that any size that you'd like it to be. Now this is just giving a WYSIWYG view of it, but I can also launch the Windows Phone 7 emulator. So what that's going to do is load all of the current project, recognizing the changes that I've made. And here's the emulator. Oh, it's still uh, loading some of its attributes. There it is. So here's the emulator with the uh, new change is visible. Sample app, first page. You can move the emulator around. It's its own separate uh, application window, but it operates as the phone works. So here I can click on the start button. 
I can click into the Internet Explorer application. And that uh, Internet Explorer application is live. That's a regular browser. You can see it's loading a default page for search.microsoft.com. So I can type in any URL at this point and be able to look at that. Uh, I can also add favorites to my list just as I could with the uh, actual browser. So there's a quick tour of the Windows Phone 7 development kit. Obviously there's a lot more involved than what I demonstrated there, but possibly that will help get you started. You can start experimenting, checking things out in the simulator, and thinking how you might be able to contribute toward improving the user assistance for Windows Phone 7 apps.